Today on BTV News Channel 3, the Benjamin School community comes together to celebrate the groundbreaking on Benjamin Hall. Plus, another huge success for the variety show. See why the 2013 version brought everyone to their feet. And in sports, we will take a look at the, well, not so great moments in Benjamin athletics over the past year. Hello everyone and welcome to BTV News. I'm Katie O'Hare. And I'm Morgan Didoronto. You give us 10 minutes and we'll give you the latest news that affects you and the Benjamin School. Plenty to bring you today, including taking you on a trip of a lifetime to the Grenadines. But first, our top story. Well, for years, the Benjamin School has relied on other venues to play host their special events. The days of going off campus for plays, the variety show, and graduation will soon be over. Hadley Lane was on hand for the groundbreaking ceremony of a brand new state-of-the-art performing arts center, better known as Benjamin Hall. Recently, the Benjamin School had the momentous occasion of groundbreaking a new multi-purpose performing arts center, Benjamin Hall. The Fine Arts Department is very excited for this new space to better accommodate their students. To the Dazzlers, it means a home base, a place that they can call home. The same with the music program and the drama program. For so many years, we've been packing up and, and performing in different spaces that it's going to be really special to have our own dressing rooms and our own space where we can rehearse and to perform. This is huge. It's like uh, having a home, a sanctuary for our plays, a um, place for uh, costumes. Uh, where, where kids can hang out. I'm tremendously happy that finally we have a Benjamin Hall where we can practice, we can perform, because uh, up to now, every year when we had our performances, either we had to go to EC Theater or we had to go to the lower school. It gives a new boost to the whole performing arts department. Gives us an opportunity to finally have a, a, a space on campus that we can accommodate all the great big performances that we do as a school, be able to host our own graduation exercises, to really just provide a central location for us to come together as a community. This new building will make performing much easier for the students. Benjamin Hall is going to be a great opportunity for the dance team to get to perform in front of a bunch of people. And it's going to be very convenient because instead of leaving school early and missing class time and driving all the way to EC, it's going to be close by. And I just think overall it's going to be great for us. For our performances, it's going to help because we'll be able to be a lot more prepared and be able to practice more in the space and be more like knowing of what's our surroundings. The dance team is very excited for Benjamin Hall. This new space will benefit everyone around the school, not just the arts department. Uh, Benjamin Hall is also a multi-purpose uh, design, which is going to allow us to do some very interesting and new things in our classes and be able to do more than one thing at one time. Well, it's going to give us so many opportunities for performance, not only performance, but also to be able to host um, visitors and speakers to our campus. Not only is this for the performing arts, it's also for the visual arts, it's also for the music program, it's also for uh, you can have events, you can have guest speakers, you, uh, tests, um, I, I guess they have like separate um, uh, sections where you can break it off into classrooms and lecture spaces. The building will take a while to complete because of the magnitude of this project. Okay, again, it's, this is something obviously takes a lot of planning and, and, a, and a lot of different people's input and insights, and it certainly has been part of the, lo uh, the long-term plan for the Benjamin School. Our process for construction is to begin uh, in the next two to three weeks. We've cleared permitting, we've got drawings done, um, the project's ready to go, and then we're going to begin right away. Expected to be completed by the winter of 2015. It's just an exceptional time in the life of the school. This campaign is... Um, leaps and bounds the campaign for the Benjamin School and it's an attempt to express really where the schools come from and its strength and where it's going going forward. Benjamin Hall will be a great addition not just to the upper school but to the Benjamin community as a whole. This has been Hadley Land reporting for BTV News Channel 3. Thanks Hadley. Well when Benjamin Hall makes its debut a year from now the Variety Show hopes to be the first event to be held in the new facility. Speaking of the Variety Show, the 2014 version took center stage at the EC Theater for possibly the last time. BTV's Luke Martin was there and has this report. The 2014 Variety Show took center stage last Saturday night at the EC Theater. The Variety Show is a combination of band, music, and dance acts from the lower, middle, and upper schools. The Variety Show is a great opportunity for students to show off their talents on center stage in front of the whole Benjamin community. Well, I like it because we really get to like um, practice at the school and we get to stay after school and all that. What I like about the variety show is dancing and being on stage with my friends. Because it's a lot of fun, you know, and just seeing Miss Oliver happy, just, it makes me happy. 
Uh, the variety show was fantastic. It was my first time, and I love to see the daddies shake their booty. <laughs> and I love the newsies. Yes. And the daddies. And the daddies. Yes, the newsies and the dads and the moms and the children. They were fabulous tonight. Yeah. Fantastic variety show. Congratulations. I think I think it's a little bit better because it seems like more well rehearsed and uh, better put together. <laughs> I'm really excited that the second show sold out because all of the money that we raised will go to the arts program at Benjamin. Variety show is a big success. Thank you to everyone who came out. You did a great job. Reporting for BTV News Channel 3, I'm Luke Martin. Thank you, Luke. Every year, members of Mr. Anderson's class pack their bags, the classroom, and plenty of sunscreen and head to the Caribbean to take what the culture has to offer. Thanks to videographer Jeremy Stauffer, BTV's Max Chesnes brings us sights and sounds from their latest trip. Over winter break, 12 Benjamin seniors took off to the Caribbean islands for 11 days to enrich themselves in the culture of the Grenadines. Going on a trip with Mr. Anderson was great because he knew a lot of the people there, he knew where he was going, he had things planned out for us and uh, even when things wouldn't go exactly right the first time, he'd figure a way out to uh, get us where we needed to go. I've been going to the Grenadines before the Dead Sea was even sick. I've been going there for uh, over 20 years. What, what stands out for me in the Grenadines trip is first of all to see how well our group of students come together and how they get along with each other and also how they relate to the, the kids there on the Grenadine Islands. Uh, it helps them to appreciate maybe how much they have and some of the advantages they have that kids in a less privileged society do not have. The students got a look at another way of life while engaging with the children on the various islands. Okay, if I were to go on the trip again, I think I would definitely bring a lot more stuff to donate to the kids because they're in need and they love the toys that we bring and I love playing with them so I think I might actually send some toys down for them. Overall, the response was positive regarding the outcome of the trip. It's just something that I like won't forget, you know, it was awesome to be able to bring something like so small to us that means so much to them. As you can see, the seniors enjoyed their trip to the Grenadines and the upcoming juniors are ready to dive into the trip next year. Reporting for BTV News Channel 3, this is Max Chesley. Thank you, Max. Looks like a great time in the Grenadines. It is time to take a short break, but plenty more ahead when BTV continues. A career milestone was reached for one Benjamin basketball player. We'll tell you who. BTV Sports is next. I still can't figure this thing out. I wish they just left me with my regular laptop. This is ridiculous. Forget it. I can't get it to connect to the smart board. You're supposed to be helping me with this stuff. You know I can't do this. Oh. Uh, forget it. I'd just like to take this thing and smash it. That's no help. I just can't get anything to work on. Mr. Vickerman, you're not you when you're hungry. What's this? Better? Better. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Hey, I'm Dan Marino, Hall of Fame quarterback. BTV Sports is coming up next. Hello everyone and welcome to BTV Sports. I'm McKenna Johnston bringing you the latest news in Buccaneer Athletics. Benjamin's athletes are nothing short of spectacular and that was proven again recently when senior Arden Pettit registered her 1,000th career point as a member of the Lady Buccaneers basketball team. BTV's Hannah Cogsill introduces us to the newest member of Benjamin's Grandest Club. Within the Benjamin School community, there are many students who excel in their athletic careers, including senior Arden Pettit with her new accomplishment of surpassing 1,000 points on the Lady Bucks basketball team. Arden's five years on varsity girls basketball culminated with her entry into the 1,000th point club. The moment happened on January 13th versus King's Academy. 
It was an accomplishment that Arden says was made more special with her teammates by her side. Coach Ashley made me cupcakes, my favorite kind of cupcakes, which were delicious. And then they also all signed a basketball that had my name on it and a thousand points. So that was really special. And then balloons and flowers. So it was really exciting, um, especially since the team was there and I got to celebrate with them and everyone was really awesome. Um, it was definitely a special moment. We paused the game as soon as she made her thousand. It was a thousand and one because she was like odd numbers. She broke it. Um, and, you know, screamed, hugged, uh, made a little announcement, more hugs after. Arden has received plenty of support along the way from her two fellow teammates that are also two of her closest friends. She's my best friend and I support her through everything and she supports me so it's a nice relationship and we push each other. So We were kind of friendly through middle school and then she joined the basketball team in eighth grade and that's when we really became friends because we were the youngest people on the team. Um, and so Arden and I have, have always been like pretty good friends um, and then this the, between last year and this year we've gotten closer. Arden is part of three seniors who will be graduating this year leaving a big void for Coach Northern next year. I think we'll compete for a district title which is always our goal from year to year. Um, certainly it'll be a, a tall task with we're losing so much in Riley, Arden and Hannah um, on the court and off the court so the, there's definitely big shoes to fill but you know, if anyone's up to it, I think our underclassmen can handle it. Thank you to the team. It's been a great year. Um, definitely one I'll remember for the rest of my life. Uh, I love you guys and thank you. The Benjamin School is going to Miss Arden, but before she ends her basketball career, she has some unfinished business. Travel to Melbourne Central Catholic tonight in district semifinals. Come out and support your Lady Bucks. Reporting for BTV News Channel 3, I'm Hannah Cogsill. Thank you, Hannah, and congratulations once again to Arden Pettit on her remarkable accomplishment. Well, as perfect as most of our athletes' stories are on BTV, there are some that are, well, not so perfect. We scour through hours and hours of highlights, or in this case, lowlights, to bring you Buck Sports Not Top 10. Hello, and welcome to Buck Sports Not Top 10 plays of the past year. Coming in at number 10, it's Hannah Jacobs from the top of the pyramid. Oh, and she takes a little tumble. Hey, that looks like it hurt. Number nine, Anthony Sissio with the quick outlet of John Dorsett, and he goes down. Big man goes down there, Garrett. That's a, that, lo that looks like it hurt. And with number eight, we have Anthony Sissio trying to uh, evade a defender, trying to call a timeout. Looks like LeBron out there, Garrett. Number seven, it's you. Oh, just fingertips away. Oh, jeez, don't remind me. Yeah, you really want that sack. Number six, Gio going up for the header, and oh, head-on-head -head collision. Oh, man, that's going to leave a mark in the morning. I'd say. Number five, it's... Oh, it's you, McKenna. Great block from DJ Robin. Hey, a big shout out to DJ. Thanks for that. And at number four, we have Haley Sicklin. Oh boy, she's trying to get the ball out of bounds, and uh, it's just uh, looks looks like the turf monster guy there. A little bit of a trip and fall, but you know she's a super athlete. She gets up when she comes down. And number three, Blake and DJ. Oh boy, so that's just not the way you block. It's a little bit of friendly fire there. A little bit of head to head. Number two, Anthony celebrating a little too early. But what happens next? A trips and falls, B, shakes hands with the opponent, C, drops the ball, or D, other. It was D, guys, because he got laid out. Oh, boy. A little bit of hey, how you doing from some of the teammates. That's all right. It's all fun. Good sportsmanship. And at number one, our very own Danny Borslow. Picks up the ground ball, and oh, he takes a little bit of a tumble. He gets knocked over there. Does a couple rolls here and there, trying to shake it off. Yeah, he plays, he plays it real cool, real smooth. Oh, look at that transition. Well, that will do it for BTV Sports. Back to you, Katie and Morgan. Thank you, McKenna, and thank you for joining us. That is a wrap on this week's edition of BTV News. As always, we will see you back here in two weeks when we take a look at the new and improved Theophilus Field. For Katie O'Hare, Max Chesnes, News Director Garrett Donaldson, and our entire BTV News team, I'm Morgan Diderotto. See you soon, Benjamin.